CWD is on the move. Uh, it has been on the move for many, many years. Um, back in 2005, we detected CWD in New York, and we are the only state to have eradicated it. Um, and that's due to the incredible efforts of, of my staff here, staff at Ag and Markets, uh, and really the efforts of hunters uh, all across the state. We see this as a major threat to our $1.5 billion hunting industry in New York State. Um, certainly, when you talk about upstate New York, uh, hunting is synonymous with upstate New York. And you talk about a disease like this, a fatal disease that could come in and wipe out cervid herds. Um, that's big impacts, not just for the herds themselves, uh, but for our communities and our, our way of life up here. Uh, Pennsylvania, our first case uh, showed up in 2012. You know, three, three animals were positive down in uh, south central Pennsylvania. Uh, since that time, it has grown uh, each year. And I commend uh, New York for taking these actions in order to put together a, a plan and prevention is a big deal because uh, once you have the disease on the landscape, it's going to cost you money and it's going to cost you effort. I'm pleased that New York has been able to stay the course and is now implementing the strongest effort in the nation to combat this destructive disease and keep it out of New York and that is our goal. So this plan stresses using cutting edge science to ensure that everything possible is being done to protect the state's wild deer and moose, captive deer and elk po populations. Together, we're going to conduct joint inspections of cervid farms, share records and reports to ensure that best practices are in place to prevent this disease from taking hold here again. By far, the most important step that we're taking today is banning the import of all uh, whole carcasses into New York State from any jurisdiction outside, outside of New York. Uh, it's incredibly important for us to do that and uh, will lead to uh, greater protections here in New York. CWD responses cost the state millions of dollars. They impact hunters and the public and most seriously impact our wildlife resources. So there's not usually a lot of good news around CWD, but today is the most hopeful that I've felt uh, about anybody's ability to stop CWD. And I really commend these two agencies on taking the steps uh, necessary to combat it. And I'm very grateful that Cornell University was able to be a part of that. Things just seem to work better when we work together. And that's what this is about. So I'm so grateful for the partnership that we have with DEC, the partnership we have with Cornell, the partnership we have with our farmers, and most importantly, the far partnership we have with the public. It's going to take all of us working together to make sure that this is effective.